This is a software called ScreenFlow from a company named Telestream, telestream.net. Now, I'm not a compensated endorser for Telestream, and they don't even know that I'm making this YouTube, but I wanted to bring it up here because I wanted to show you a very important tool that I use for my YouTube videos, not only showing how to navigate around the web or doing different software, but also in editing very simple video clips together without having to go into an advanced edi uh, video editor like Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro X or even iMovie. So this is ScreenFlow and I'll just go ahead and escape out of this and I'll show you what it does. So this is the icon for ScreenFlow. So if I'm showing how to do, say for example, navigate around YouTube, which is something that I'm going to do for my premium channel on how to unlock the power of YouTube for your SEO, your marketing, your advertising, and your social media, I can simply go around here on the web and click on anything that I want here. Let's say for example that I want to go into my video manager and show the analytics. I can then navigate around and show you how to work all the different controls that are on YouTube or anything else that involves software for that matter. Now, also what I can do is edit videos and I'll show you how that works. I'll just go ahead and double click on a video that I already have and you can see that the video now shows up on screen. If I go ahead to this fill the screen window, it will now take out all of the menu items up here on top, but it'll still show the transport controls for QuickTime. All I need to do to get th this out of the way is to move my mouse off the screen and then it will play. So let's go ahead and play a little clip and I'll show you how that works they've added. So in the premium channel, I'm going to go through menu item by menu item what exactly this thing does. But for now, I just want to show you, uh, and we'll just stop right there. And I'll hit the escape button and the control W button to close that window. And then let's go and take all of this and we'll add the content that I just did to ScreenFlow. Now we're in the main editing window of ScreenFlow, and what you can see right here is my desktop uh, editing surface. And I'm zooming in and out right here so that you can see that I can fill the screen or uh, keep it at whatever size I want. Now this right here would be what the video is seeing. Down here on the bottom is the editing timeline, and so I can show you the different parts, like that right there. If I click on that, that shows my talking head. That's the top timeline. And on the bottom is the actual desktop. Now what I can do is I can say, for example, click on the top, which would be my talking head, and I can go ahead and move this over to the corner like that. And just say, for example, I didn't want to show all of that stuff on the sides, I would just hit the control button and then crop in very, very tightly until all you saw was just me. So now you can see that my talking head is still invading this window right here. So what I can do is then click on this window and then go ahead and shrink that so that it has room for me in a little corner. I can bring myself in like that. In fact, I could even go over here to the video properties and see the opacity on the very far right. I can now change that and make me just kind of like a little watermark in the page so that when it plays it's not so super distracting but very ghost-like and weird. So let me just undo out of here. And what I can also do to get rid of the talking head in total would be go down to the timeline for that video clip and then uh, hit the command click or the Apple uh, click or the option click, whichever it is in uh, Microsoft Windows. On my mouse, it's the right click. And if I do that, you can see down here I can detach the audio. Once I detach the audio, now I can get rid of the video from my webcam and just show only the computer desktop and now I can grow that until it fills the screen and now I still have a narrative go around here on the web and over the video yet still have the sound. Now as you can see right here the mouse is kind of moving around as I'm doing my navigating. What I could also do here is go to my clip and then change some of the video properties of, say for example, 
uh, we'll go over here to the mouse and we'll say callout properties. We're going to add a new callout action and when we do that now we can change the mouse cursor. We can change the, op uh, the mouse cursor opacity I'm sorry, so we can highlight the mouse cursor. We can increase the opacity of that little guy, as you can see right here, right there. See where the mouse cursor is? I can increase the opacity of the mouse cursor relative to the background if I want to show just the navigation of the mouse. I can also blur the inside like that and also if I go right over here I can change the scale of the mouse and that would be under my show mouse pointer we'll just go ahead and change the scale of the mouse look how big I've made it right now and then I can also change the opacity of the mouse so that it's not so large and that's really handy when I'm going through and showing the different uh, navigation. So say for example right here, and I'll just go ahead and increase the callout property you know, there, and you can see my mouse now move around, and that's really handy. Now I've changed the opacity in the background so that I can't really see the screen too super well. So right there I'll just go ahead and bring it up to 100%, and then you can see what difference that now makes. So we'll just go right there to the callout, and we'll go right there to the callout properties, change opacity to zero. So and as you can see right now, the mouse is so still very, very huge right up there. And I can move things like around. That. Also, here I can show the uh, clicks. So let's say, for example, right here, I can show the, where is it? Also right here, I can show the keystrokes. So if I'm doing a demonstration of the video and I want to show certain keystrokes, it'll show down on the bottom, which I don't know that, that I have that here yet. Uh, it's down here. Oh, right there. OK, see that right there? So I'm doing keystroke, and it shows the keystroke. Super handy for when you're doing videos, demonstrations of software. Lastly, right here, you can see that this is the media files. This is just like the source window in iMovie, Final Cut Pro, or Media Browser in Adobe Premiere Pro X, where I can just take uh, different clips and drop them in and move them around. Now, if I want to cut anything, let's just go here and remove that callout property. If I want to do any trimming, I just press the T button, as you can see here in the edit window. You can hit the uh, split clip button and I'll just press the letter T and what it'll do is if I'm in the timeline right there and I hit T it will then split the clip wherever I said I wanted it split and then I'll go over here and then hit T again and then it will split right there and right there and then if I want to get rid of them I'll just uh, drag my mouse at, as the mouse is depressed hit the delete button and it's gone and if I want to go ahead and move this, the guys back in I would just move that clip on the right or I could click once in the open space and hit delete and it will all shift over let's just go ahead and undo and get out of those changes and that's basically how that works so what's really neat about ScreenFlow is that I can do editing of not only full me media clips in my screen capture but I can also make video tutorials and that's really handy that's going to be a really big thing that I'm going to use in my premium channel when I'm showing you how to use software editing software for videos or for navigating around your YouTube in unlocking the power of your YouTube or your video editing software or any other software that I'm going to show you with demonstrations on the screen Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and go to GaryFong.com for the premium channel where you'll see all kinds of really advanced topics, detail by detail, highly detailed tutorials 
on how to unlock the uh, power of your equipment. Thanks for watching.